While camping at Monte Sano State Park, we drove over to Cathedral Cavern State Park for a cave tour. It was $19 each and well worth it. Video can't do these caves justice. You have to see it for yourself. Cathedral Caverns is a very large cave system. You walk for about three quarters of a mile each way, and there are no tight squeezes. We drove around Huntsville through the suburban fringe with many expensive looking subdivisions. If you think of Alabama as a land of poor sharecroppers, that is not what we saw anywhere. It seemed Huntsville can compete with any city of a similar or, or larger size for quality of life. A thousand years ago, the Indians knew about the cave. They did use it for shelter. They were hunters and gatherers, so this was not a permanent settlement. Now we're standing what's called limestone. Above the limestone is a sandstone cap. The limestone in this cave was formed between 350 and 400 million years ago. During what they called the Cold War, several Alabama caves were designated as fallout shelters. Well, the cave might make a good shelter in a rainstorm or tornado, but fallout? takes in air and water from the outside, which would bring the radiation in anyway. <laughs> so I figure that's another brilliant politician's idea. Now, if you look down below, you can see the stream that runs through the cave. Now, prior to 1952, this is as far back in the cave that there's evidence that anybody ever made it, because in front of this is what we call a breakdown of flowstone, so it was solid. Is it still alive? Don't look like there's much growth since the 1950s. Well, they say the average growth is about one cubic inch every hundred years or the size of a marshmallow. Now, when Mr. Gurley came through that water passage on the other side, behind the rock, and this is the first thing he saw, and he called it Goliath. Goliath is what we call the stalagmite column. Now these formations you see here are stalactites. 
But when they're long and thin, like you see a lot of them, they're called soda straws. And that's because they're hollow in the center. The water actually drips down the center of the formation, forms a bead at the tip. That bead is either blown off by airflow or evaporate, and it leaves the minerals behind. And the stalagmites are formed by constant dripping in the minerals building up. And I can show you an example if you look at these formations in the ceiling. It doesn't look like much is going on until you hit it with the light and you can see all the water droplets forming the formations. I call this formation improbable, which you don't understand. It's 27 feet tall. It's only 4 inches in diameter at the base, 7 in the middle, and 3 on the top. Is that a gate right there? Where? Never mind. It's very impressive in here. Cathedral caverns. Yes, in Alabama. Um, very nice, very pretty. It actually got organized really well with these walkways. You can walk all the way through it, feel safe and comfortable. Beautiful. Yeah. Here's the entrance to the cave. The next tour has already started. Did you get the ledge? Yes. Oh. Brave the cave. Brave? Stake the lake and like the hike. Ooh. Here. Yeah. Hashtag Majestic 3. Thanks for watching. Next week is the last of our Alabama trip where we visit the highest spot in Alabama. Subscribe to follow along.